Hi, my name is Jamie Thompson and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrates the capabilities of Cozy Rock Software's suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. The demonstrations herein were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2008, however the Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for both SQL Server Integration Services 2005 and 2008 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about Cozy Rock's Open PGP task. PGP stands for Pretty Good Privacy, and Open PGP is a well accepted standard for encrypting and decrypting files. In this video, I'm not going to give a run through of how P PGP works, I'm not going to talk about private keys and public keys too much. I'll assume that anybody who wants to use the Open PGP task or he has a good understanding of public and private key encryption. What we will show in this video is how Cozy Rock's Open PGP task makes it incredibly easy for you to encrypt and decrypt files using the Open, open PGP standard within SQL Server Integration Services. So, the first thing we need to do is install the Open PGP task into our toolbox. Let's go choose items. We go to SSIS control flow items and we scroll down until we see open PGP, it's right there. We click OK, that appears in our toolbox for us. In this section of the video, I'll show a demonstration of how we can use the open PGP task from Cozy Rock to encrypt and decrypt a file. Now first of all let's look at a folder that contains three files I set up earlier. The first one is a simple text file called beetles.txt. If I open it up it contains four single records if you like, John, Paul, George and Ringo. Easily recognizable I'm sure. Now that's going to be our source file, that's the file that we're going to encrypt using Cozy Rock's open PGP task and then we will later decrypt as well. Below our beetles.txt we have a file containing the public key uh, that we're going to encrypt the file with and the secret key that we're going to decrypt the file with. If you have an understanding of open PGP then you'll understand exactly what public keys and secret keys are. Secret key is just another name for a private key. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio now You'll see I have a package here that's got two instances of the open PGP task. One of them is going to encrypt a file, the other one is going to decrypt it. So let's go into our encryption task. There are a number of things that we need to set up. The first thing is our action. Now we have a few options in there. In this case, we're going to encrypt a file. The next step is we need to select our public key ring file. That's the file which contains the key that we're going to use to encrypt our source file. So if I drop that down, what I already have in here is a file connection manager that points to the public key file that I showed you earlier. So if we select that, what the task will then do is look inside that public key file and find all the public keys within there. And in this case, we have one public key called my secret key. It's called my secret key because it, that's the name of the secret key that it matches to. So we select that. Okay, so we've set up the public key that's going to be used to encrypt the file. Now in the source section, we can point to the file we're actually going to encrypt. Now I've also set up a file connection manager for that file already. It's here, it's beetles.txt. And the last thing we need to do is tell the Open PGP task where to put the encrypted file once it has encrypted it. So in this case, uh, our target is going to be 
um, another file connection manager that I set up earlier, uh, which is um, called encrypted file. And what that's going to do is put the encrypted file into the same folder that I showed you earlier. So if I select encrypted file, override existing is true. That's OK in this case. Let's select OK. OK, that's good. Um, our open PGP task has validated OK. I'll just switch back to the folder just to show you that we have three files in here currently. We have the file that we're going to encrypt and we have the public key file containing the key that is going to be used to encrypt it. So let's switch back to Visual Studio. I'm going to right click on this, execute. Everything goes green, everything's good. I can switch back to Windows Explorer. You'll see we now have a new file in here called encrypted file. I'll look at that in Notepad, you'll see that's an encrypted file. We can't read the contents of it, which is exactly what we want, of course. Let's close that down, head back into Visual Studio. So we've managed to encrypt a file, that's good. Now we want to decrypt it using the secret key. Let's go into this instance of the open PGP task. In this case, our action is decrypt a file, that's exactly what we want to do. And what we need to do now is point at the file that contains the secret key that matches up with the public key that we previously used to encrypt the file. In this case, I already have a file connection manager pointing to my secret key file. It's down here. All that simply does is point to the mysecretkey.asc that you see here. Okay, so we've told the OpenPGP task where the secret key resides. We need to tell it which file it's actually going to encrypt, or sorry, decrypt. And that's in this section, in the source, we go to the existing encrypted file. Now the reason we have um, two connection managers pointing to our encrypted file, you see one is called encrypted file, one is called the existing encrypted file. That's because the encrypted file connection manager will create the file for us and the existing encrypted file expects that the file already exists. So that's the difference between those two. The last thing we need to do is tell the open PGP task where to place the, the decrypted file. It's very simple. Target. We simply select another file connection manager that I set up earlier. In this case it's called decryptedfile.txt and that's all we really need to do. If I click OK Ah, one thing I forgot to do, sorry, I need to supply the password uh, that, is, that will be contained within my secret key. I'm not going to tell you what that is, but there's the password, I've entered it now. Click OK, everything's validated and that's good. Let's simply right click on our decrypt to file task, and hit execute. Everything's green again, that's good. And uh, Let's switch back to Windows Explorer. And sure enough, we have a new file called decryptedfile.txt. Let's open it up. You won't be surprised to see that the contents are exactly the same as beetles.txt that we started with earlier. So there you go. That's a very simple demo of using CozyRog's OpenPGP task to encrypt a file using a public key, then decrypt it afterwards using the matching secret key for that public key. I hope that was useful and I hope the OpenPGP task will prove useful to you in the future.